we are here this morning to do principally one thing to fumigate and disinfect the airport to ensure that we keep it with the protocols set by the president's special task force to deal with the coronavirus pandemic you all know that we closed down the the flights uh we're not flying out of the airport anymore except for special flights that were evacuating passengers from different countries and a special permission from the presidency we also had an ongoing exercise for the cargo to continue operating because there was a need to bring in essential cargo to support us in our fight against the pandemic. Save that, we were not really flying and the airport was virtually closed. Today, we are here to fumigate the airport disaffected in all ways that possible. The airspace, the walls, the floor, the counters, everything that needs to be touched or that will be touched by the operators and by the passengers. That's going to be done today, all the three terminals, including all the other supporting uh, facilities, such as the Civil Aviation Authority terminal buildings and the Air Traffic Control Tower. We're also going to go to the cargo area and all the other areas that need to be worked on. That will be handled today. And if there's a need, we'll continue tomorrow. After that is done, the airport company, supported by the port health uh, officials, or rather led by the port health officials, would, would make sure that all the things that need to be installed to support the implementation of the protocols will be taking place here. That's to say, all the hand uh, washing devices, sanitizers, anything that needs to be done, including even uh, nose masks, should be made available. And that will be checked by the airport company and port health to ensure that that's all in place before we start operating. We're particularly doing this because we want to start the domestic flights first. Let me also bring to your attention that in all of Africa, we are the only country that closed down the airports and are about to begin. So we want to do it well and do it right to make sure that we lead the, the way and, and, and put out the right example uh, for other African countries to follow. There are other countries that are ongoing in terms of the operations, but they are different. For, for us to have closed down the airports, uh, most African countries, and to start again is only Ghana that's prepared to start. We're hoping that after today and tomorrow, they'll be mopping up by the airport company and port health, and then soon, soon thereafter, we'll see what else needs to be done. Perhaps getting towards the weekend, we'll now begin the domestic uh, flights. But it is possible that permission will be granted to foreign embassies who want to evacuate their personnel as we've been doing. As and when they get the permission, and bring their personnel here, the airport company will do what they normally do to ensure that the right thing is done to get them out of the country. It is essential because if we do not do it, it means that anybody who's come to fly, or any of the operators, the cabin crew, would be uh, will come into contact with the virus and that would not be good. We we'll keep spreading throughout the whole country. So it needs to be done. Principally, the president has ordered us to do that. That's number one. Secondly, the benefit of this is to make sure that nobody contracts it. That's all. As we speak, it's happening in Kumasi and in Tamale, and uh, they're going to move on to Wa and uh, Takradi very soon. Uh, the provision has been made for them to make sure that all the gadgets, all the uh, commodities that are required will be in place when we commence flying again.